Hello everybody, Andrew Hutchins here, and this video is about things I miss from America being here in Belarus. Now, it's a great country, it's a first world country, I don't normally even say that, but recently someone asked me, like, is Belarus a first world country? And I was like, yeah, it's a first world country. But there are a few differences and things that I do miss from the United States. Um, primarily things that are kind of important. I mean, those are the only things I really notice. Well, Mexican food, but that's not that important. So I guess I'll start there. There is no Mexican food in Belarus. Like, people are starting to do Mexican food. And I thought for a long time, like, that would be a great idea to make money, do a Mexican restaurant here. Yeah, when people try to do Mexican food, uh, it's not Mexican food. Uh, but on to more important things, like right now, my neck is bothering me, causing a headache and hurting my back, but there are no chiropractors here. So I'll probably go to a massage therapist, but uh, I know that I need to get a chiropractic adjustment for my neck because some of the stuff is not aligned and I can't manage to push it and twist it myself back into place. Someday I actually plan to learn how to do basic adjustments and I'm gonna have my wife learn how to do them as well because I think it's very important. You got people that go, oh, that's not medicine. Well, guess what? If your neck is out of alignment or your back and it's pinching a nerve and it's decreasing your quality of life or even decreasing nerve function of part of your body causing issues, well, that that's... That's a health issue. So yeah, I would really like to have a chiropractor here, but they don't do chiropractics here. Perhaps I can find somebody who does do it, but like, as far as I know, there are no chiropractic schools here and it's not considered like an actual thing. Other things, socks. Well, you can't really see, but I've got some Belarusian socks on right now. Somehow, my socks tend to disappear. I don't know if somehow they like get in the washing machine and dis disappear. I don't have a dryer here, so they're not getting lost in the dryer. I don't know if, I don't know why my wife would put them in the trash. Like, I don't think she's throwing my socks away. Uh, but somehow some of my socks disappear and it annoys me because I can't buy more good socks here. I mean, there are some decent ones, but especially the, like, normal socks. I mean, there's not very good cold weather socks, but at least they're thick enough that they don't just tear. But, like, the non-cold weather socks, like normal socks you would put on to go to the gym or just to walk around in moderate weather, they're all super thin. Now, when I was young, I liked thin socks. But my thin socks when I was young in the United States were made of good material that didn't tear within a week or two. Here, uh, I mean, they're, they're not torn yet, but uh, I have a few pairs of socks that I got here that I've worn a few times each, and they're already, like, where my big toe is, decently torn. Like, the ones I have on right now, I... I think I've only worn once before, so they're not too bad. I mean, they're not bad, but I've only worn them once before, so they shouldn't be bad. But the ones that I've worn, like, a few times, man, it looks like if I wore them for a month, there would be holes in them. And normally my socks last me years. Plus, I don't like how thin they are. It's not comfortable. I don't like how my shoes feel when my socks are, like, paper thin. I like getting like decently thick, short socks that like are, add some cushion um, and are not, are, they're gonna last for years. Like your toes aren't gonna wear through them in a month. Okay, the other thing is underwear. Now, I don't know if perhaps I could find some here, but I like wearing underwear that goes down like almost to my knees. You may go, that's really strange. I would think so too, like 10 years ago. Um, but now, with really big legs, my legs rub a lot. 
And, I, and if I wear like the halfway down your leg underwear, they just come up. And then my legs rub each other. I'd like there to be fabric between my legs so that fabric rubs instead of my skin. It's a lot more pleasant than having your skin always being screwed up by your legs rubbing. Uh, yeah, if only I could keep the hair growing there, but perhaps it's because they rub so much that the hair doesn't grow, but it sure would be great if I could have hair there so my hair rub like, instead of my skin. Uh, see, I wear long, tight underwear so that my legs, the skin stays intact. My legs rub so much that I wear through every pair of pants I have. Even these sweatpants I have on right now, I don't, yeah, I, I can stick my fingers through them. I mean, it comes in handy sometimes, like sometimes I'm in class and I've got an itch and my jeans have even bigger holes, so I can just reach my hand in there and itch it easily. Yeah, I've had one pair of my jeans fixed twice by my grandfather, who's a master tailor. Um, I'm gonna, oh yeah, I got a pair of pants here that I tore fixed by a seamstress, but I'm gonna have to bring some sweatpants. I don't know what they're, this, because I don't want like jean material on my sweatpants. I don't know if they have sweatpant material left, who knows, but I'll have to bring my sweatpants and my other jeans to the seamstress to get the holes fixed up. It's not too bad if you've only got holes in your pants, but when you get them in your underwear and your pants, and then maybe a testicle starts hanging out, not the best thing. Uh, so yeah, chiropractors, socks, underwear, and Mexican food. Those are the things I miss. The beach, of course, I miss that because I'm a beach person. A lot of people even live near the beach and they never go to the beach. Me, if I can go to the beach and it's good weather, I go to the beach. I love riding my bike to the beach, just walking around or body surfing. Usually the beach I ride my bike to, I don't do a lot of body surfing, so I just like walk around, lay around. Uh, but if I drive my car a little bit, then I go to the beach where I do body surfing. I like it, the beach. I like walking around barefoot on the sand, getting the sun on me, going in the water. Here you've got the river, it's nice, but the river doesn't have waves. It doesn't have salt water. There's a big difference between going in fresh water and salt water, and between going in a river and an ocean with waves. Like some people, they go to the sea and they're like, oh yeah, I've been to the ocean, like where there are waves. Oh yeah, some little, Okay, you weren't really at the ocean. Like, it's the ocean when there's big waves, and it, like it's effortful for you to like. First, you got to get out there, and you're hanging out with the waves, and then you're swimming with them, and then big ones are coming, and you got to go under. And sometimes they're coming like one after another, and it's like really a lot of work. And like, that's what I like. I don't like just. I mean, I don't. I, I, don't, I would like going to Hawaii again. I went when I was a kid and just hanging out there in the warm water floating around, but ultimately I love like being with the waves and having to dodge them and stuff and swim with them and put work in. And then after I'm tired and panting, I go to the shore and I've got a good pump and probably stretch a little bit wait till I dry off a little bit, and then I lay down, rest a bit, then I walk around a little bit, then I go back in the water, then I, yeah. I like the beach a lot. Um, yeah, of course I miss the mountains too, because I like hiking around in the mountains, and I don't have a car here. Perhaps when I get a car, eventually, I'll drive to the forest more. Um, but yeah and no desert. I don't go to the desert a lot, but I do like the desert. Um, so California's got amazing nature and weather, uh, but in terms of like non-nature and weather stuff, it's the chiropractor with the socks and the underwear. And then you could toss in Mexican food. Uh, I don't know why my biceps started hurting. I just ate about two pounds of pork but there was a lot of fat, so I, I can't say that I ate two pounds of it, probably like one and a half pounds of it. 
pretty good. It's harder to find good meat here than it is in California. But when I cook it at like 110, 120 degrees Celsius, usually 120 because like, I don't know how accurate that is and I definitely want it over 100. It's like at 110, like it's probably, yeah, 115 I probably turn it to. Because I want it above boiling so it can kill bacteria, if there are bacteria. But yeah, if you toss your meat, whatever it is, whether it's pork, beef, chicken, turkey, whatever, toss it in the oven, like just over boiling temperature, leave it in there until it's done, it's typically pretty good and soft and comes apart easily. You can chew it easily. Check out my other videos, check out my Instagram, natural underscore true underscore fitness. Check out my website, andrewhutchins.org, where you can hire me for any sort of consultation on fitness and health. Not medical advice, but it's not medical advice if I don't tell you to do it, it's just medical information. And this headache from my neck is getting to me. I've got some orange liqueur here. I really have not been in the mood for alcohol, but I've been trying to drink alcohol lately to relax my muscles more so that hopefully my neck can slip back in place. Plus, if you drink a little bit of alcohol, then you don't feel as much of the stuff. But ideally, I would just have a chiropractor instead of orange liqueur. I have a book on tendonitis. If you've got tendonitis, go to Amazon right now, type in a systematic guide to defeating tendonitis, maybe by Andrew Hutchings. Select the fastest shipping option because you want to do this ASAP. You don't want to live life in pain like I am right now. It's not enjoyable to live life in pain. You want to get rid of that as soon as possible and enjoy your life to the fullest.